May I come in? Sure. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Sir. You are in income tax. Uh, yes, sir. I was in income tax for four years, but uh, in December last year, I resigned. I joined the Indian Police Service. Oh, sure, sure. You are now yes, in the Indian Police Service. Yes, sir. Now on uh, uh, extraordinary leave uh, okay. from the Indian Police Service. Okay, okay, okay. But why have you opted for Danix then? Sir, Danix uh, Group B also you have opted for. Yes, yes. Why so? Sir, uh, from police service also you want to come to Danix? Uh, sir, uh, actually uh, I was interested in development, uh, specifically the diversity of opportunity that uh, Danix of, uh, offers. Mm. And I happened to interact with some Danix officers who told me about their experience as nodal officers in COVID in Delhi. So being a doctor myself, I you thought I'd retain it as You well. got fascinated. Yes, sir. I got fascinated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you, you, you are in the police service, but you have not joined, you have not joined the training in a way. Yes. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. And how was the job in income tax? How did you find that job in income tax? For four years, you were in income tax. Sir, uh, Income tax job was very interesting. It was very different from uh, my graduation subject, which was uh, medicine. So I learned about finance. We learned about the modus operandi of uh, many fraudsters because a lot of frauds are loan fraud, income tax fraud. The frauds are kind of combined. Then, uh, sir, on the other levels, human uh, resource level, learned how to handle uh, people, faced uh, union strikes. Uh, so that was also an uh, interesting part of the job, sir. What is this faceless assessment? What are the negatives of faceless assessment? Sir, the uh, faceless assessment scheme is a scheme of uh, income tax assessing. Uh, so it kind of uh, tries to reduce the interface between the taxpayer and the department. That I know. I am yes. asking you a straight question. What are the three negatives of faceless? Sir, uh, the negative of faceless is that uh, the first thing is the interaction between the taxpayer and the uh, department or the assessing officer has reduced. So the taxpayer is not ex able to explain their stand, uh, whereas before they could explain their stand face to face. And a face to face interaction is different from a faceless interaction. Sir, uh, sir second one would be the uh, large number of cases and pressure on the tax officers. So sometimes they would take a decision um, which may not consider all the SSE's replies. So it may not uh, adhere to full natural justice. And third thing is the technological issues. Sir. There are some technological gaps, especially video conferencing and uh, some glitches sir, which are going on in the faceless. Okay. Now, what is so fascinating about the Indian Administrative Service that you want to still try for the Indian Administrative Service? Sir, uh, the main thing is that I was fascinated with development. I saw how development changed people's lives. Sir. So in my childhood, my father, he lived on an island. So an IS officer happened to build a bridge there and it kind of changed his life. It uh, made him go to school regularly and it made him a PhD holder. Sir. Then after that, I came to the IRS, sir, where we were told we are the earning arms of the government. We have to earn the money for the government. But I always was fascinated with how is this money spent? What is the effectiveness? What is the use of the money in the various developmental sectors, sir? And well, who spends? Who is concerned with the spending of the most of the money of the government? You are thinking the IS, but who is? Say you you might have analyzed one state yes. government budget yes. or one central government budget. Who is spending that money? Is the IS spending that money or is some non-IS spending that money? So most of the money. It goes to interest payments and otherwise defense. That is most of the. See, this year budget, can you analyze this year budget figures? 44 lakh crores is the, say, the revenue or the total budget. How is it coming and how is it going? Can you can you tell me the figures, broad figures the, for the budget? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware of You're the not aware. Okay. Figures. Now, tell me, it's only 10 lakh crores which is being spent on development. Yes. 12 lakh crores, to be exact, 12 lakh crores is being spent on. Yes. How much money is spent through the IAS and how much money is spent through the non IAS? Can you make a guess? Sir, uh, if I have to guess, sir, uh, sorry, sir. I, I'm if not there is any to... role of the IAS officers in this, is this spending that is only 2 lakh crores okay. out of 12 lakh crores. 
टेन लैक क्रोर्स इज एब्सोल्यूटली नो कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द आई एस एट ऑल विल यू लाइक टू रिवाइज योर ऑप्शन नाउ सर स्टिल आई वुड नॉट सर you you said the region i have explained that region i have, i belong to that service yes and i know the region i have just given you the facts yes will sir. you like to change your option and why why will you not like to change your option second out of 32 years of service or yes. 30 years of service which is left for in your case or yes. even less than that you will work in the so called development field only for 8 9 years yes the rest of the time you will not be working in so called you will be working in non development function yes sir then sir uh, it is that that 8 to 10 years how much ever i work uh, so that is that experience cannot be got, gotten anywhere else uh, as of now the is has so many departments under it uh, like a district magistrate would have education health disaster tourism so many departments and he would have to he or she would have to coordinate uh, between these departments the so post of the district collector fascinates you Uh, so not only district collector even sub district collector ceo uh, zilla panchayat there are so many development what are the lab, three four sir. hats the deputy district collector wears three four different hats yes. which the collector wears sir uh, he is collector yes collector of revenues he is uh, he is uh, in charge of the land revenue sir in charge of land revenue is collector yes sir then he is he is district magistrate yes sir overall magistrate law and order in charge number 3 sir uh, his in charge he heads uh, many departments sir even no, he doesn't head any department at all oh sorry sorry sir okay. he is deputy commissioner he coordinates the work of various departments okay sir number 4 sir uh, he is the district election officer in okay. charge of elections yes, yes. number 5 you you are interested in becoming a district collector you are not knowing the hats which the district collector wears sir uh, the important duties of the district collector which fascinate you yes sir the law and order uh, elections law and order i have told you district yes, magistrate yes. that is why at some places is called district magistrate some places is called collector at some places is called deputy commissioner that yes, is why sir. the nomenclature is different in various states yes sir yes sir. sorry sir i was not able to exactly tell you sir but uh, i i i knew it sir okay now tell me what is the how is how much is the political interference in the administration sir uh, political interference is a truth it it is there uh, it is a fact sir of uh, the administration but uh, sometimes it is positive sir sometimes we need the politicians are the Uh, are the in, char- uh, in charges or they are the head, head sir so sometimes it is needed sometimes it is unnecessary and uh, sometimes it is illegal sir what is the major what is theoretical concept of so called political interference theoretical theoretically how do you define hmm. political interference uh, so th- theoretically i hmm. practically you see political interference how yes, do sir. you say theoretically this case is of political interference this case is not of political interference how do you define that sir how uh, can you draw the line that this case is political interference this case is not sir certain functions are executive functions their say like selection of beneficiaries of a housing scheme there are certain guidelines for that and the district authorities have to go by that but political uh, polit- politicians are the legislative field mostly so they cannot interfere in those things theoretically constitution defines executive in certain manner yes which is what what is the definition of executive as far as the constitution is concerned sir, as far as constitution is concerned what is the definition of executive so it is uh, union government state governments and the authorities under them what is what is the definition that is very clearly made by the supreme court Uh, sorry sir I, I, supreme court says it is political executive which is the executive yeah okay sir no yes, bureaucrat sir. is part of the executive understood sir thank you sir to so then now what do you want to say is there any interference or any non interference i sir, want to hear from you the powers of the president is uh, or the governor is delegated to the authorities that he or she may deem fit so we are those authorities sir they have delegated these who powers. delegates these powers who who has delegated these powers 
what is the act which delegates this power? Hmm. I am so, asking um, you because you are our government servant now for yes, the last yes, four years, yes, four and a half years. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, How do you draw your powers as assistant commissioner? From where do you draw your powers as assistant commissioner? Sir, Income Tax Act is the uh, Income Tax Act defines uh, it mentions assistant commissioner income and those tax income act, tax o, Income Tax Act only mentions about the act, yes. the rules. Where does the your powers? Where are the your powers mentioned? And by what law? Uh, sir, as uh, far as I am aware, it is income tax law. The income from tax. where does the income tax law come? Uh, by from the president, sir. From the president who signs it and who the can, parliament. Who can who can pass the income tax law? A parliament and Why? after that the president. Who, who authorizes the parliament to pass the income tax law? Who authorizes parliament to pass the income tax law? Constitution. Constitution. Yes. Constitution. Yes. Therefore, and now you derive the powers of the collector. I want you to take the powers of the collector through the constitution. How, how are the powers derived from the constitution? Sir, uh, there are lists, your how? union list, concurrent list, state list. That is the okay then. And um, then the executive authority which is mentioned. Se which sections of the constitution allow the state to exercise powers? Powers, uh, which powers Power? may I ask? It is rule of law. Yes. It is not rule of anybody. So state it is rule of law. Law will uh, give you the power. Yes. So, stateless mentions law and order, which and agriculture, state. different, oh, different. Uh, that is the only subject. Art, article which section gives the power to the state, state government? Uh, so there are some sections which dealing with the state power. Yes. So which the, are the sections? Um, article 246. Uh, sorry. Above. Above. Uh, um, 150 uh, onwards, so 153 Which article onwards. gives you protection of the constitution? Civil servant. Civil, uh, 30, 309, sir. 309 to 312, sir. They deal with civil servant. You services. mean one article if you want to say? Um, sir, I am aware. Uh, the article is that uh, nobody can be. Uh, we serve at the pleasure of the president and no uh, ath uh, authority below it can uh, remove us. Sir. That is the provision, sir. So very nice to hear you. While speaking to Honorable Chairperson, Thank you, sir. you told that yes, you, some of your friends yes. here in UT Cadder, they told you that they are nodal agency of development. Yes. And you get carried away. But okay. I would like to tell you one thing. Uh, forget our time. Now it is the very turbulent phase where IAS officers, of course they are nodal agency of development, but yes. they can't move even a single step without police, whether it is law and order, revenue collection, conducting red, anti-encroachment drive, yes. disaster yes. management. So you are backbone now as an yes. IPS officer. Yes. Administration cannot take a single step on paper, decision is different. But putting thing into action, yes. you always need police. Yes, sir. that is Absolutely. the increasing role of police now. Yes, yes. Sir. Even then, you are very you get got carried away by these people. Another thing I would like to point out: here in Delhi, Delhi police is under central. Yes, yes. And they are under state government. Yes, UT government. There is lack of coordination between police and ministerial rank here. Yes, they feel lots of problem in executing their policies and schemes. Did they share with you? And did you ask them? No, sir. I should have. I should have asked this. Yeah. Tomorrow, as an officer, if you get carried away by someone's advice, so then the, it will be disaster for administration. Anyway, take yes, care of it. Yes. Second thing, you are doctor, and of course, right now, I would say you are IPS officer. Proud of you, doctor. Thank you, sir. So, have you? Have you? Do you know steps of narco analysis test? Sir, uh, broadly, broadly, I know it, sir. Okay. Uh, broadly, there is. Uh, you tell me simply. Take me as a layman. I am very much keen to know what is the role of sodium thiopental. Yes. So and as is, a doctor, how will you explain me? Sir, uh, as far as I am aware, sir, it is a it is a drug. Uh, it is a kind of a sedative. It's mm -hmm. a sedative drug. It is known as a truth serum, mm -hmm. but it reduces the uh, inhibitory chemicals inhibition uh, inhibition and it relaxes our muscles. Mm -hmm. And uh, that and in that state, 
the uh, the person the is person? conscious subconscious unconscious which state he is so as a doctor which state he is so the person is not unconscious okay subconscious yeah uh, so no, he is not, not sure. unconscious sir. that uh, that i'm sure no, no, you are doctor he is sedated sir so he is doctor please uh, so the patient is sedated sir uh, that is that is the state that uh, we say when you say patient is sedated he is conscious or unconscious sir the patient is conscious when patient even conscious. if they are sedated they are conscious if he is conscious what is the meaning of conducting that test he can manipulate the way he was manipulating as conscious man yes So uh, that is why uh, that is why it is not admissible as evidence. It is just to uh, lead give some leads to the police, sir. But it is not a legal evidence. Doctor, no, sir, it is the person gets into subconscious stage because okay. of that. The doctors keep hitting him. Yes. कि ऐसा सो ही नहीं जाना जगे रहो. So neither conscious nor unconscious. He is in between, caught in between subconscious and lost control over his speaking. So yes. whatever he is speaking, that he is not able to manipulate. Yes, yes. That way, of course, it gives clue to you as police yes. officer that is not taken as legal evidence, yes. but information makes information. Yes, information makes. Yeah, you know, doctor, your role I am doing. <laughs> so the, I I was not aware of a particular term okay, called no subconscious. Okay, no problem, no problem, doctor. Now you completely take me as a layman. Yes. I am sitting with you in Bangalore, and yes. ask doctor. i have learned uh, read somewhere parasite that living organism dependent over another living organism is parasite is yes. it true doctor sir uh, no sir uh, it is partly true that a living organism is dependent that is there are so many living organisms that are dependent but a parasite is when the organism which is dependent does some negative uh, negative impact to the other organism when there is some negative lady, impact it is called has conceived whether her embryo or fetus is parasite or not uh, a lady, lady has, con has conceived whether her embryo or or fetus is parasite or not so it is not a parasite sir why because pregnancy is a normal physiological state the body of the lady is made to uh, get pregnant and uh, made to uh, tolerate doctor sir i was asking this question because uh, it is just i want to see how much justification you have done with your medical science yes. how much justification with revenue system yes. the honorable chairperson was asking and how much justification will you do in police service uh, yes. so i am asking this question yes. you would have said same species are never parasite over each other yes so that is a more of a biology answer i was trying to give the sir, medical i am again speaking doctor sir doctor sir <laughs> you speak as doctor sir please so okay. yes sir as forget a, everything last your sir name is let vargis yes yes tell me something about white revolution sir uh, white revolution was a very important who was a pioneer agriculture reform uh, by vargis uh, kurian sir in yeah. gujarat he why did he select gujarat Why not Rajasthan, Maharashtra, any other state? Why, why not his own state? Why why Gujarat? Why Gujarat especially? Sir, uh, as far as I am aware, he was posted. He was posted there. He, uh, there was a National Dairy Development Board, and there were so many milk farmers there, and uh, they were. Well, doctor, if I say it was Foda, Jawar Bazaragi, mainly cultivated in those states, at that point of time, because of that, the live stock will get. feed immediately and okay. this is the reason anand and amul started growing oh, i was not and aware and he came later <laughs> i was not aware of <laughs> that that is that came much later okay doctor oh. last question just yes. if i pooch you sir ek pooch leta hu suppose you get back to your academy npa yes fine you just speak to your batchmate what is law police and what is order police this is the latest reform in police what is law police and order police sir sorry i am not aware Go sir acha you tell me in india we have got a great history of ayurveda yes but why ayurveda is not uh, very popular as far as treatment is concerned sir the first reason is that there is a trust deficit in ayurveda sir Peep, uh, allopathy on the other hand gives immediate results and saves lives Ayurveda right now has not been 
proven scientifically to do so. So the general public does not trust them. So okay. second of all is that there is a vast knowledge of Ayurveda. It is a huge knowledge, but that ancient knowledge has not been uh, tested, tested uh, in terms of uh, scientific accuracy and experimentation. So again, there is an issue there, sir. And uh, so uh, third of all, now uh, the Ayurvedic doctors themselves, uh, they do not know which parts of the Ayurveda work and which parts do not work. So there is a confusion and they have to use modern medicine also. So only after the experimentation of uh, and uh, the verification of Ayurveda, we can use it uh, very well. Okay. Now, Achit, tell me one more thing. Like uh, you are a doctor. Yes. And once you get selected in the administrative service, what areas of public health would you like to address? I mean, public health per se in totality, what are the areas of concern which you would like to address? Sir, uh, if, as a civil servant, if I'm looking at public health, sir, I think we should target the low hanging fruit, which means that uh, first, I think health access is the more most important okay. thing. Okay, health access. So that means building the roads to the uh, primary health centers, secondary health center, uh, community health centers and so on. sir. So that would be first. Then it would be the effectiveness of that health expenditure, sir. So, sir, building a lot of... Uh, uh, that would be, uh, I could divide that into human resource, sir. So the doctors, uh, their salaries and their uh, trainings and so on, sir. After that, the infrastructure, sir, which is the ventilators, medical devices, oxygen, medicines and so on, sir. Which Of which medicine should re uh, receive the most uh, care because most of the expenditure, I think 60% of the out-of-pocket expenditure goes to medicines. So after that, lastly, the social support uh, this, uh, the social support infrastructure, which means the uh, social workers who take you out of the hospital, who uh, take care of the patients outside the hospitals, so that is lacking. In Kerala also, there was some news about the waste management. There was some pollution in some city today. Yes. Uh, so, what is bio mining in waste management? So, uh, bio mining is using biological organisms to extract the uh, minerals or the valuable products from the waste. So bacteria, what is done? Uh, so we can use bacteria or fungi or any uh, ki these kind of organisms to extract the valuable uh, so, okay. products. Is it bio mining? Uh, sorry, um, this is what I'm aware of in that. Answer. Okay, I think this is not bio mining. Bio mining, you can study more. Yes. Okay, my last question. You have been in the income tax for four years. Yes. Now you must have had a lot of good exposure about the department. Yes. What are the steps which can further be added to increase the tax collection, indirect taxes, indirect taxes? So in, in both? Yeah. Direct and indirect, sir. So uh, the first thing should be that uh, the both the databases of the uh, CBDT and uh, CBSA, the direct and indirect tax should be linked, sir. Because uh, technologically, there should be a good coordination between these two. So uh, after that, we have... Uh, uh, we uh, te uh, technologically again another uh, solution is the kind of the rectifications, the refunds, and all should be automatically processed. Sir. They so are being done right now. Yes, sir. They are being done, but uh, we should increase the thresholds so okay. that uh, they can be given and that can be very smooth, sir. Sir, uh, other than that, uh, I think. Um, and How can we include the uh, large informal sector like small vendors? How can we get them into net? They are already in net or yet to be brought into net? So some are already in net because of the GST reforms. Because of the GST reforms. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we should uh, encourage through awareness, sir. We should encourage income tax uh, department conducts awareness drives. Those should be increased, sir. And uh, digitalization is the best way, sir. Through sharing of information, sharing of requiring PAN numbers, we can increase the reporting of uh, information for uh, all the sellers on different platforms and that way naturally they will come into the net. Sir. My last question, Yes. what is your opinion on uniform civil code? Is it beneficial for the country? Can it be implemented phase wise altogether <coughs> in one go? Sir, uh, I believe it is a beneficial reform it's the idea behind it is a very be uh, beneficial thing that uh, the issues of marriage uh, 
fam uh, divorce, family, and uh, so on. They should be common for all. That a uh, modern nation would require that, sir. But uh, f firstly, sir, I believe it can be uh, implemented in a phase-wise manner because, sir, the individual acts for every India is a diverse place. Different religions. The different religions have different acts, acts which are following them. But uh, these acts themselves have a lot of issues, lot of lacunae. They require lot of reforms. First, we reform the uh, acts, then we break them uniforms. Drinking water management yes. in your state, Karnataka, Bangalore. Yes. Uh, let us talk about city, Bangalore. Yes. Is not that easy. How do you improve water management uh, in, uh, especially drinking water management in Bangalore? What are the issues? How do you improve it? So the issues of water in Bangalore is that it mainly derives its water from a few reservoirs around and then the few rivers around uh, Arkavati river and even from Kaveri river. Sir. So the larger issue is that many projects are pending sir. Many uh, larger projects are pending which are supplying water to Bangalore. They should be expedited but that is only the larger issue sir. The other issue is that the Bangalore Water Sewage Board, which is there, they have some coordination issues with the municipality. So, uh, there is no coordination on uh, the projects and the pipe laying and so on, sir. Then the pipe laying is, many of the pipes are outdated and they are leaking. They need to be replaced. New sources of uh, drinking water should be found. New technologies uh, of drinking water uh, can be made, sir, especially relating to the lakes, sir. We can rejuvenate the lakes and make them sources for drinking water. You are a fan of rock music. Yes. I am so confused. Rock, blues, rap, country. Yes. yes. I don't know what are these uh, different music. I want to relax. Which music I should go for? Sir, uh, none of these. <laughs> <laughs> sir, that would uh, depend on your taste, sir, uh, on, on what relaxes you most. Uh, so, it, it depends on that, but uh, rock, rock, a combination of rock and blues is, uh, I find it personally very relaxing. What, why is it called rock? Sir, uh, uh, is it um, on rock? <laughs> no, sir, actually, it, uh, on the roads. <laughs> it refers to the tempo of the music, which is an upbeat tempo, sir. Uh, blues is actually a music which is uh, very uh, sorrowful. And uh, rock came out of this blues with a higher tempo and aggressive uh, kind As of sir was telling, on the rocks, when you are on the rocks, <laughs> it would be good? Sir, it is good in all times, sir. <laughs> on the rocks or off the rocks. <laughs> okay. okay. Which are the uh, singers? Rock singers, you feel excited about when you are on the rocks? Yeah. Sir, the uh, <laughs> singer that I am most excited about is uh, Freddie Mercury, sir. Mm. So, he was the frontman of Queen. So. What is the unique uh, um, music that uh, Freddie Mercury brings in? Sir, the, it is not only his music, sir, it is his, he has a combination of things. He would play the piano. He had a very strong voice. He was a great uh, performer, and uh, he took a lot of. Uh, inf he had a lot of influences, sir. He had rock influences. He was a Parsi origin person, so he put some uh, Arab and uh, Indian influences also into his music. And then he has a st thing called stadium rock, sir. For the first time, he played in large arenas with uh, anthem-like songs like "We Are the Champions" or "We Will Rock You." That was not seen till then. So, he was able to uh, inspire a lot of people. Many piano players we have, yes. composers yes. like uh, Mozart, Beethoven, all these uh, great uh, players. <coughs> How do you compare Beethoven's Ninth Symphony and uh, your famous singer's uh, blue, blues uh, or uh, rock, Freddie? Uh, Freddie? Mark. Sir, uh, Beethoven is more classical, sir. He uh, actually, in some ways, they are very similar because uh, sometimes Beethoven has a higher tempo in uh, his music and uh, Queen also rock music has a higher tempo. But uh, in some ways, they are different, sir. Beethoven that is played primarily on the piano. Rock music is four instrument, uh, three or four instruments, gu uh, lead guitar, bass guitar, drums and a piano. So that way, sir. How to improve our gut flora? to boost immunity against COVID? 
sir uh, i can or immunity not against covid any anything sir the first thing is we should not destroy our gut flora in that way it will improve so we should avoid taking unnecessary antibiotics like uh, there are antibiotics like azithromycin which are highly abused sir when we get a cold we take it even though most of the colds are viral so avoid uh, avoid that sir and avoid certain foods which destroy our gut flora like uh, junk food that uh, which interferes with that so after that we should always take pro uh, probiotics like lactobacillus there are supplements which come especially when we are taking antibiotics then we can consume traditional foods sir which are known to uh, improve our gut flora like curd and related uh, preparations every state has some traditional curd like preparations we can consume uh, those sir now you are posted in andaman nicoba yes islands with your anthropology and your medical uh, science uh, skills uh, what way you will improve the health of the tribals of andaman nicobar islands the place where you are posted yes sir uh, the tribals have a lot of health problems sir because of the modern uh, ways of eating and uh, modern ways of living sir so so mainly we would try to encourage a good diet sir which is that traditional diet the traditional diet is extremely varied they consume a lot of different local fruits and meats sir so if the pds uh, if the pds is under me sir i would try to give them as many local products as possible and uh, involve them uh, in the running of that pds sir so that would be diet sir then there are many people who are already uh, quite sick sir they are uh, sick with infectious diseases and now also with uh, hypertension uh, or diabetes sir so uh, we can run camps we can increase the number of camps which are running in uh, their area which can be in their language and uh, involve their traditional healers also sir so okay. when i were, you were answering him yes sir. about the gut flora thing yes now i recall my childhood during those days if i used to fall ill my mother would give me nothing yes except barley water and it was presumed that in 2 to 2 and 1/2 days i will be cured yes i think that helped because that created antibodies in my body yes hmm? nowadays you use antibiotics and you suppress the symptoms and there are no antibodies also do you think my mother was correct sir uh, respectfully sir your mother was uh, partly correct sir because so you uh, are coming back to same thing again giving a good fashionable name probiotic ogera ogera yes sir sir hmm. but uh, you said that your mother gave you nothing but uh, barley water sir. Yes. so that uh, that actually interferes with the immunity because you must consume your uh, food sir you must even if you have diarrhea even if you have unless you have a severe issue in your uh, gi system in your gastrointestinal system you must continue with your normal diet which is carbohydrates no it was regarding sir. fever only fever sir even in fever you must continue you must have more uh, you must Four. eat well sir you Four. must eat well otherwise the body's immunity will so you said destroy. that you want development of people yes hmm? what are the major health issues that a child faces in villages sir in villages uh, it is infectious uh, i think sir f- sorry uh, first thing would be lack of nutrition sir. either over nutrition or under nutrition sir many of the children uh, they have lack of protein sir mm. especially uh, they are given uh, even now there is junk food has penetrated into the villages Correct. sometimes mm. they eat even pan masala or some other things child. as a as no a i think lunch. of newborn child how oh. he will take pan masala Yes, so newborn child in that way, it is a lack of exclusive breastfeeding. Because mothers don't like breastfeeding. Yes, sir. Mm. So that is lack of exclusive breastfeeding, which is uh, not fo- followed at all, which must be followed for six months. So all the nutrients, everything that is needed, is there in the mother's breast milk. Okay. That so that would be the first. Mm. Then uh, newborn children face uh, infectious diseases, especially diarrhea, sir, which is uh, there is lack of. Uh, people do not know how to treat this diarrhea no, no, no. forget about diarrhea yes tell me what is the protocol for a newborn child for inf- against infectious disease what is that protocol so uh, do you mean the treatment protocol or uh, for a child a newborn child what is the protocol for good health 
vaccination, etc. So, et yes, so, exclusive breastfeeding, hmm. uh, care by the mother or kangaroo care, the mother must keep the child close, oh, no, vaccinations. So yeah. uh, Next, uh, what are the vaccinations so, uh, and what is the time gap? The vaccinations are uh, starting with uh, IP, uh, polio vaccines, uh, hepatitis B vaccines, uh, uh, Haemophilus influenza vaccine, uh, measles vaccine, and uh, each one there is a particular schedule, sir. That you you have forgotten, or sir, uh, right now I don't exactly remember, sir. Now the there one. there is an outbreak of a certain disease. Nobody knows it. Yes. In Noida, in Calcutta, where children are getting infected. Now, if you are the district magistrate, what is steps you will take, <coughs> sir? Uh, and uh, first of all, as a district magistrate, sir, the health of the child is uh, very important. No, no, so, that, that, forget the paraphrasing, come exact to the point. A one, two, three, four, these yes. actions you will take. Yes. So, first is emergency services. Tell them to be on high alert, uh, the pediatric departments of all the local hospitals to be on high alert for uh, this particular disease and these particular symptoms. Whatever medicines or if it, uh, whatever medicines you are a doctor. Is there. What yes. is your prescription? You are a doctor, qualified doctor, being a district magistrate. What help you will do? Sir, uh, directly, of course, I cannot help. But indirectly, sir, the emergency, they have to stock up on all the required uh, drugs. Then Thank we have you. to find out what it is. What is, you were talking of development, what is your definition of development? What does the development mean? Sir, uh, development means, uh, Simply being better Money. than what we can, what we what are. What is better? What is the definition of better? That is the confusion with the tribal people. Yes. We want to make them better and they become worse by yes. that medicine. So being better than what we, uh -huh. being where we want to be, sir, in terms of opportunities. What is the definition? So in terms of opportunities, in terms of livelihood, in terms of culture, in terms are we, of. Are we better than our forefather? Uh, that cannot be said. Then. Right? That cannot what be said. In some, in some ways, <laughs> we are better, sir. Our life expectancy is better. Our life is easier, and uh, we have scientific One knowledge. Thing you know, in Andaman, yes, the sentinelly number dwindled because we went to develop them, <laughs> and they got measles. They both for them. They had no resistance in their body. Yes, sir. So, so it is better not to develop them. Okay, yes, Melvin, uh, your interview is over now. Thank you, sir.